By signing this bill today, I'm authorizing the creation of a commission, a committee to study what reparations might look like in New York. Hello, Let's welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the Doctor of Common Sense, Kathy Holcomb, who's an idiot. She always got that surprise look at her because her eyebrows is up here. She looking like she's surprised talking about reparations. She's reading off the paper talking about reparations. Now, New York is broke. Personally, you Negroes are not smart enough, though, but they already gave your reparation to the illegal immigrants. <laughs> and you damn fools up here cheering and stuff like you finna really get some reparations. You ain't even got the money to get your damn reparations in the first place. See, California did that, and you damn fools believed that they was gonna actually give it to you. You have a news and trick you, and then you put it. They broke. Because all their policies is trash. Talking about what somebody did 200 years ago, and the people who actually committed the atrocities or the enslaving of you, they ain't living. And how are we going to find out who actually did the slave part? That's what I like to know. Who's going to pay that? Is Kathy Holcomb going to come off some of her money? Let's be clear about what reparations means. It doesn't mean fixing the past, undoing what happened. We can't do that. No one can. But it does mean more than giving people a simple apology 150 years later. This bill makes it possible to have a conversation, a reasoned debate about what we want the future to look like. And I can think of nothing more democratic than that. Now, if this committee can present a viable path forward to helping the descendants of New York slaves and addressing the harms and disparities that exist in education, that exist in housing, that exist in health care, that exist in the environment. That, my friends, will lift Nobody. all of us. All liberals do, black liberals, white liberals, all they do is sit around and talk about the past because they can't fix a damn problem. All they do is play victim mentality and try to pit people against each other with some crap. Now they ain't never even read a damn history book in the first damn place. What gets me, though, is that when I hear people like Oprah Winfrey, what is she worth, like $3 billion now? She's constantly talk, running around talking about slavery and oppression and racism and stuff. Half of you made $3 billion. And after you made $3 billion by a bunch of white suburban mothers supporting you, you became black power now. Beyonce did the same damn thing. Beyonce you used to talk about this crap until she got rich. Because this is a gimmick, just like Black Lives Matter was a gimmick. Black Lives Matter and these clowns who you keep running, white liberal, black liberals, that's what's wrong with the damn black communities right now. They try to kick the fathers out. All these babies being made and no fathers around is what's destroying the black community. And then when I come on and I point out the obvious, when people are murdering people, carjacking, selling drugs, doing drugs, yes, the government is letting drugs in, but you don't have to take drugs. My problem is that I go to the hood all the time. And you know what I notice? That you're sitting around getting high all the time as opposed to doing some damn it constructive. And that mindset is like no regard for human life. Because if I come on a video, like the video I made, talking about the lady in New Orleans who had her arm literally pulled off her body, dragged through the street, and I call the monkeys monkeys, and then... All the Negroes come on the video and they're upset. They said, you just trying to kiss up to the white people. Hey, niggas. Hey, niggas. No, 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 niggas. Address the niggas who killed that woman. How you like them to drag your arm? Don't, don't get mad at me. I just report news. If you don't like the way I report, that sounds like a you problem to me, nigga. That's what's wrong with the black community. The black activists, the black preachers, these so-called white, guilty whites who, who keep sticking the crank in your back, destroying your neighborhoods, Kathy Holcomb, all these Brandon Johnson, the Sheila Jackson Lees, the Black Caucus, the White Caucus, <laughs> the Latina Caucus. They always talk about how much they love you damn fools. And they're, they're bringing drugs in your neighborhood, giving you drugs, letting criminals out of, your out of jail in your neighborhood so they can kill you and carjack you. You should be praising me when I come on and talk about these damn monkeys. Hundred pounds of monkeys. We got white monkeys and black monkeys and stuff, but I don't give a damn if you get mad. Reparations ain't gonna fix a damn problem. Hell, Jews been enslaved 
five or six times. They come to sit about whining and stuff. You ain't the only one who's been enslaved. You just the only one who keep whining about that crap. My granddad was born in the 1800s. I ain't never heard him talk about slavery as much as these niggas talk about slavery today. And all these white guilty liberals, the, 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 the Kathy Holcombs, the Nancy Pelosi, who don't even invite your black asses to a freaking house. Nancy Pelosi has called you a nigger so many times it's not even funny. Hillary's called you a nigger. Hillary's called Barack Obama a nigger. But then they want to go and talk about reparations because this right here is a smoke screen. You can't get me with a smoke screen because I can read. When I know you ain't going to do a damn thing, your policies have done anything. What, what the government needs to do is get the hell out the way and stop all these restricted laws punishing people for doing good. Stop trying to stop... Or this teachers union from running the education system. Let the kids be educated. Give vouchers out. Stop promoting, quote, reproductive rights. Reproductive rights. You know what? I mean, you got to be real stupid to be supporting Planned Parenthood. Do you understand what the founder was doing? Her objective was to kill little black babies. You want reparation? Go get some from the day of Planned Parenthood. Stupid you got to be, man. You need to go get some reparations from all these Negro leaders who ain't done nothing but oppress you. And if I hear another nigga who marched with Dr. King come on and say, we march with Dr. King, nigga, I don't care. I, I was just on Martin Luther King Boulevard. Crime written. Now, was Dr. King committing crimes? Was Dr. King running around carjacking with his pants hanging down? No, 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 niggas. Uh-uh. Don't get mad. See, the problem is that truth hurts more than anything else. The white people is not your problem, nigga. Going around killing and carjacking is your problem. No, no, no. The problem in the black community, absentee fathers, all these kids being born out of their life, people don't want to work and be educated and better themselves. They want to make excuses and keep blaming people. Get the damn chip off your shoulder. If you run around with a chip on your shoulder all the time, they don't like me because I'm black. They don't like you because you're stupid and ignorant. See, there's all kind of ignorant people. There's black ignorant people, white, Latina, Asian. I've been around all kind of ignorant people, all kind of races. Most times, if, if somebody is rude or something, something ain't got nothing to do with your damn race. It's just because they're jackasses. They are jackasses. But if you got a chip on your shoulder, I know a guy. He always got a chip on his shoulder. Matter of fact, I know an Indian guy who owns a business. A black guy works there. He says, he asked me, why is this guy always got a chip on his shoulder? He walks in with a chip on his shoulder, he ain't nice or something, and then when somebody says something to him, he says because he's black. No, nigga. It's not because you're black, it's because you're ignorant. You're ignorant. Nobody lacks ignorant people. Nobody. Nobody wants to live around ignorant people. Most people can live around anybody if they know how to act. I just want decent neighbors who know how to act. I don't give a damn about your skin color. We ain't got to braid each other out. We ain't got to go around, sit down, and eat dinner together. Neighbors just want safe, quiet, community. Anybody with a lick of common sense is what they want. But if you're going to keep talking about some damn reparations, that's your problem. LeBron James, look at all the money this nigga did make. Now you want to become an actor. Nigga, you drill basketball. Dribble and shut up. Shoot the ball and shut up, clown. They were so racist, they wouldn't let you earn all that damn money you made. Beyonce gets rich. Now she's black power and all this kind of crap. Why don't these niggas who made all this money, the Oprah's and all the rest of them, why don't y'all go clean up these damn ghettos and these slums and try to promote something positive? Not get on TV for a photo op. Do something to put something in their damn head. Teach responsibility. Teach there's a difference between right and wrong. And put the fear of God in them. See, there was a certain fear of God when you grew up. Kids were scared, especially sons were scared of their fathers. See, my mom says that you wait till your daddy get home. I was just going to take my whip Because there was a healthy amount of fear. Now they, know, they don't fear anything. They ain't got no regard for human life. And then when they act like a bunch of monkeys and kill innocent people, you want me to be respectful to them. I don't give a damn about you getting mad, nigga. Your mama care about somebody care about what you think. You shouldn't have said that. You shouldn't have called a monkey. You a monkey. You upset with the wrong damn thing. We try, if you're trying to, do you want to get better? When Jesus was talking to him, he asked the man, do you want to be made whole? Because a lot of people don't want to be made whole. They want to have pity parties. They want to act as if it's somebody else. Quit blaming everything on Whitey. Quit blaming everything on the government. The government is a lot of your problems. But a lot of times, the problem we have, especially in the black community, absentee father, crime ridden, always talking about getting drugs and getting over. Can't tell you. It's, it's 2 o'clock in the evening. 
15 y'all standing up. You coming in early in the morning. All you think about doing is smoking weed. Drinking. Some syrup in the cup. All this crap. Put some up here. Want to better yourself. You shouldn't want to live in a crime infested neighborhood and brag about it. What set you claim? Claim the set of an education, damn it. Stupidity. And we have a society that refuses to tell people the truth because they're lying to you because they really hate you. When people don't tell you the truth to help you get better, that's hate. That ain't love. Love does not make you do bad things or a lot of people so you can make them feel good while they're destroying themselves. You need to look at the man in the middle. Reparation ain't going to do your damn bit of good. It ain't. If you, get, if you got poor leadership, and you do have it. All your liberal leaders ain't done a damn thing. Since I've been born, they've been talking about they was going to fix a damn problem. 58 years they've been fixing a problem. They ain't fixed a damn thing. Donald Trump ain't your damn problem, fool. If you stop letting these people... See, most Americans who's got any kind of sense... They actually just want to get along. They want to take care of their family. They want to be able to provide for their family. They want a safe environment. If you got any damn sense. And if you don't want there's something wrong with you, you may need to be institutionalized. Reparations is not going to help you change. Because you can give a baboon a machine gun. It doesn't make him a soldier. You can, if, if they gave all you bounce, just say they gave all you reparations. Just for argument's sake. In New York, in California, they gave you reparations. The Cadillac did it, the gold shop, the Louis Vuitton and all this kind of Nike. That's all I'm going to do. And most of them are going to kill each other. Because if you look at the rappers and everything else, the folk hip-hop community, what are they doing to each other? They got all this money. Look at P. Diddy. That pervert. They get all this money. Jay-Z. All this money. What do they do with it? Get over there talking about they bling and stuff. Go clean up the damn neighborhood. But tell me how hard you is. It's a bunch of hard people in the grave, in jail, ain't never getting that crippled too. Reparations ain't your damn problem. You want to fix your problem? Look in the mirror, damn it, and do something about that. And quit making up damn excuses. Period.